in lots of places really. So um, I gave some sort of about something called guerrilla research, which is kind of doing small scale research. So I think uh, the idea there is that openness allows you to do different types of research. So it's almost allowing you to rethink what it means to do research. And so this idea of guerrilla research, for one of the better phrases, kind of do small stuff that you don't need funding for, using open data, open tools that you then blog about. So all that kind of stuff is suddenly made possible because of openness. But just in terms of more, what you might call more formal research, um, I think having, as I've been a blogger for a long time, I think you know, blogging is a strong part of my academic identity. And that's allowed me to kind of create a, a global network of peers, which I think previously I'd have to uh, spend all my time going to conferences and doing keynotes to kind of keep that network up. And though that's led to very tangible results, so I've been invited to go and give keynotes in different places, for example, and that's because of my online identity, which you might regard as sort of open scholarship. But also it's led to uh, formal research projects we've got funding for through a network of people. Um, and also just that I publish my stuff openly, so it's always open access. Uh, and if I don't publish it in an open access journal, I'll blog it uh, and then tweet those results. So in many ways that kind of dissemination pattern has changed quite nicely. It's not just about the article now, it's about the kind of conversation you have about it. Um, and I occasionally write books, which I've published open access as well. Um, and I've noticed that that's kind of open approach all the way along makes a difference. So when I wrote my last book, I kind of went back and, and went through my own blog and sort of found all the relevant stuff that I'd posted about it before. And, um, and that not only gave me a starting point for the book, I wasn't starting with a blank slate, so that was good, but also I found that most people had commented on those posts, um, which I could then follow up on those links, or maybe got me to rethink what I'd been doing. So writing the book was a much more open process. So openness has really changed the way I work in that sense.